Morning guys from Middle Lagoon. Look at that, the sun's coming up. Oh. I'll leave this here for you. You can watch it come up. Mid spot, eh? I'm going to make a coffee. Welcome back to another episode guys this one is going to be something that you've seen us do a little bit of before but it's been a couple of years and we're going up the dampier peninsula in Broome. so we will show you a bit of footage from our last trip up where we did a heap of free camps on the beach and that this time we're going to go to a spot called middle lagoon there's a few things that's changed along the way in the last few years it's bitumen all the way bitumen and look at this actually exciting news for us new threads mate look at this we've got some new merch we've got some shorts as well i'll show you them but come and see the miso so I'll tell you what, we're pretty excited. We've been cooped up in Broome for a while. And I was just saying, Beck, we've got some new merch coming. We do, how hey? exciting. So we're pretty pumped that we're putting in an apparel line at Anaconda. It's gonna be nationwide. Um, men's, ladies, boys and girls, fishing shirts, what swimwear. The, hey? It's so weird. So like, the best thing is you can jump online and buy it, or you can go into any Anaconda store and buy it. It's I so think it'll cool. be out. Well, we're September now while we're shooting this, but I think it'll be out in October yep, next for month. Chrissy. So you're able yeah. to get it. Isn't How it cool. crazy? We've got like our own apparel line in mate, Anaconda. It's all thanks to you guys. Thanks for the oh, huge support, mate. You constantly keep giving for us and it's, um, I don't know, it's humbling and we're so grateful. Yeah. So thank you so much. And you're you going to so love the gear. So I can't wait to show you all. Anyway. It is awesome. Yeah. Anyway, all right, back to the vid. We are going up the Dampier Peninsula. We're going 180 k's from Broome to a place called Middle Lagoon. So Middle Lagoon is renowned for like Usually all the oldies come up with their tinnies and they sit for months on end and go fishing and stuff. <laughs> but because it's late in the season, it's hot, it should be really quiet up there. Hopefully. And we're gonna go and sit up there for a week and go fishing and stuff like the oldies. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, we've seen all these beaches up here before. We'll show you those. There's some wicked free camps and stuff. This time, it's all about Middle Lagoon. Can't wait to show you. And the bitumen, mate. I know, we're excited. No corrugations, no dust. It's so weird to be hitched up and, and leaving. <laughs> so keen. All right, what do you say? <laughs> Giddy up. Ah, just like that, mate, we are set up at Middle Lagoon in one of the, well, I'm going to call it pretty early, but one of the best campsites we have ever seen, mate. Oh my gosh. Look at this, mate. I'm going to take you for a bit of a walk around. It's not even high tide yet out there. Once high tide comes up, it is going to be absolutely spectacular. But look at this setup, mate. We've got the tinny off already. Tinny's there. Truck's there. Fridge overlooking the water car set i mean the van set up with all the windows open beautiful breeze the wind's coming over the top of us too so it's like super nice and offshore on this side and look there's got our own little shack the fish cleaning table in here look at this look at this oh yeah we've got water over here so you can have long showers and the missile won't get cranky and then wait for it we'll spin you around and show you these beach views are you ready are you ready for this uh, and look at that, that's slow tide, mate. You wait for high tide, it is gonna be ridiculous. What do you reckon of this one, kiddos? Yeah. Yeah, what about you, mum? It's the best. How like, good honestly, is it? look at that. Oh. Can't beat it. This is sick. Do you wanna get a sunrise here? Mate, you won't see sunrise. No, but I might have to get <laughs> Do you hear it? No, but I will. I will get up and I'll show you the sunrise. And check this, you put your tinny in down here, if you can see that way out there, someone in their car way right out in the low tide line. So it's super hard to drive out there. Um, yeah, just happy, happy days, mate. I really like this middle lagoon. I did not know it was this good, Beck. It's amazing. I did not know. Mm. Anyway, over the next few days, we'll show you a bit more about middle lagoon. Get the tinny out, get some fishing done, do some cook-ups. Might even use my little camp kitchen over the side here. And look, we've even got someone's been nice enough to plant some palm trees. Thanks guys. All right. I might even get a bit of a tan. Have a look how white I am. What's going on? Hey? Right. Tide come in soon. We'll go for a dip. Who's keen for a swim? Me. Me. Do a big run down there, mate. No. Charge into the water. All right, I won't wait. I'll just spin around for you. Have a look at this, mate. Private little beach. The water temp is so sick. And over here, as the tide comes in a bit more, there's a little rock pool. So we'll show you that as well. All right. 
You going for a swim? Yep. <laughs> yes. Here comes Jack. Come on. Let's go in. Look at the colour of this. How is it? Yeah, it's it actually feels like, because it's a bit shallow and protected, it feels really safe in here. Because oh. if you didn't know, we're in croc territory. <laughs> it's but, so um, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh. And you can stand up. Private little beach. Yep. How's the water temp? Oh, it's, it's perfect. Like, it's so refreshing. What time is it? It's like hey, 9 a.m. We're missing a job. Where is she? She's getting her the crepes. Oh. <laughs> Happy days. She's over there. On the oh, well. This is us for like the next hour or two while this tide's up. Whee! So nice. It just keeps getting better and better. Come and check out this rock pool. You're only gonna get it on big tides, like nine meter jobbies, I reckon. But look here, you can see the water just coming around the start of it. And then look out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all fully protected. And then there's a little break in the other end where the sort of the swell washes over and it's gonna fill up. Oh. Mate, this is ridiculous. This is like one of the best ones I've seen. This is so nice, Beck. What the? Oh, look at that. Is there, oh, there's a big deep bit down the end there. Yeah. Oh. You going in, Bezzy? Definitely. <laughs> oh, look how deep it is. It's beautiful. Ah, told you. Keeps getting better. Old bit of lagoon, mate. Loving it. Um, Christmas giveaway time. This one's going to be an absolute ripper just in time for Christmas And if you don't win you can always go and buy some as well. So how good is that? If you've seen before we've got our own beach towels and beach mats with will and wind So what's it's inspired by our photography. So this one is the air. We've called it. This is a beautiful rock pool from Whaler's Way um, We've got two of these towels to give away the same in a beach mat I'll put all the specs in below so how big they are and stuff. These are wicked. Check out the Kimberley one down here back they're massive, they're waterproof on the bottom, they're sand free, they're waterproof. I said that twice, so they're double waterproof. <laughs> stain anyway, resistant. <laughs> stain resistant. Water repelling. There you go, she's <laughs> killing it. Um, but how good is this joint? Cable Beach, mate. Oh. Oh, if you haven't been up here, you need to get here. Uh, give pack, let's go again. And you get two um, multi towels. So these are the same design, but they're like the size of a tea towel. I use them in the boat. Uh, for like fish rags, I use them for cleaning my sunnies, I use them for cleaning the camera gear. Beck uses it for? Clean the dishes. Go to the gym? Yes, gym towel. <laughs> Beck uses it, actually, oh, I can't unwrap it. Sorry. No, don't. These are the ones we're giving away. <laughs> I better put that back in so whoever wins it gets a nice <laughs> clean one. Sorry, but if you open it up, they're like a beach, uh, a, <laughs> a um, tea towel. Sorry, I've lost my train of thought now. I was going to start ripping them all open. Anyway, there you go family or not a family but a double gift pack two towels beach mat two multi towels it's worth a mods art they're absolute wicked products all you have to do to enter is down below I've got a link it's going to be a landing page right so if you go to that link you put in your details and we pick a winner and send you out the, ca uh, the pack for Christmas and like I said if you want one for your Chrissy presents you better get in quick because there's actually not that many left they have absolutely gone bananas all right happy days Thanks, enjoy guys. good luck Merry Christmas Righto, time to get the tinny off, mate. Um, what I'm gonna show you is that I get a lot of questions sometimes. People say, why don't you leave the trailer on top? Why do you always pack it up and put it on the back of the van? Well, I don't always. Look, look what's sitting up on the roof there. There you go. That's the trailer. Now, I would not personally leave it there if I'm gonna do long trips or off-roading and that sort of thing. Um, but all we've done is come from Broome to Middle Lagoon, two hours. So like an hour and a half on the bitumen, half an hour on a bit of dirt track, mate. So it's no dramas and it saves me set unpacking the trailer, putting it back on the back of the van, setting it up again. Not that it's difficult, but I mean, when you get somewhere you just want to go, uh, there's no need to pack up your trailer if you don't have to. So there you go. She lives up there, mate. All in one. All I do is throw an extra ratchet strap from the back 
over the bottom of the trailer and back down to this handle here crank it up tight and then it holds the skids on the trailer down to the tinny and at the front end the winch holds it so it's not going anywhere so safe as houses up there the only thing is um oh, it's all right with my tinny but you notice the winch does uh feel the extra 38 kilos when you're pulling it up it starts getting pretty heavy so if you've got a bigger tinny might mine only weighs 80 kilos if you've got one of them big dogs that weighs 110 i don't know you might your winch might struggle pulling it up if you're 150 kilos instead of just 80 plus 40 what's that 120 so i don't know and same again i wouldn't want to be off road with another 40 kilos up the top there uh, you, you do feel it you get a bit tippy you know if you're going to do any off-road sort of stuff but there you go i'll get it off now and i'll show you the boat coming down with the trailer on so it can be done There you go, mate. Happy days. Trailer on and everything. Well done, my love. I know. I did really well there on the... Uh... <laughs> Good button pushing. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Job done. Hope this wind dies off so I can get out a bit, eh? It's pretty blowy. Well, it's time. We are getting firewood to take back to Middle Lagoon. So I've just come up... To, um, to kind of like towards Smithy's Pender Bay and just look on the side of the road and find some dead logs. So we just pulled up here and um, yeah, load the top of the canopy up so we can have a glorious fire tonight and maybe cook our chicken ribs. Oh. Hey, for those of you that are going to ask, because we always get heaps of questions in the comments about the chainsaw, it's a Makita 36 volt. It's only like the smallest bar, like a 30, 300 mil bar. Works a treat for us, mate. The two batteries last forever. Plus, I interchange them with like my battery drill and my leaf blower in the van. So, perfect. Slap them in, and mate, you can cut, I don't know, probably four, five fires worth of timber with these two batteries before they need to start. And like, that's a lot of timber. So, um, yeah. They're a good thing, good value, and no, uh, they don't, they're not so noisy, you don't need to carry fuel, all that sort of stuff, so. Mine just lives in there, zip him up. <laughs> Chuck him in there or in the tunnel bird of the caravan, so. All right, dear, now you gotta load all that timber on the roof, eh? Yeah, I'll help you load it up. <laughs> Words, can't let them bring you down. We're making bread. So after a fun-filled day of Swimming, relaxing, firewood gathering, hermit crab gathering. <laughs> We're going to. Um, I'm here too, by the way. Bex here. She's always here. She just floats, hanging in the background. Floats around. Yeah. Me and Rooster are going to make some bread for you. Uh, you've seen us use this one before. I don't know if I ever showed you the packet. It's but the bomb. It's. Uh, I can't tell you if it's coals or woolies. I don't know. But it's the well and good crusty bread mix. And the reason I bought it is because it's um, gluten free, nut free, dairy free. And my wife's a real pain in the bottom and she's all three of those. So I actually no, she's not nut free. No. She's just a nut. Dairy and gluten. Anyway, um, it's really, really nice, mate, and it's super easy to do. We've cooked it in the camp oven and we've cooked it in the Weber and it works out a treat. It's so easy. And it's like oh, might be five bucks for a box or something, I can't remember. But what you do, you, that's all you need, like Gonski. You get a yeast sachet and the flour inside and then all you have to truck in is a one and three quarter cups of warm water, a couple of tablespoons of oil and then um, give it a bit of a knead on a bit of flour. I've got, it says rice flour, I don't have that, I'm just going to use corn flour. And uh, the whole reason I'm going to do that is we're going to let, um, what are you going to make tonight? Hot dogs! <laughs> So the kids are going to make their own little bread roll. We're just going to cook up snags and um, they can chuck it in. Anyway, it's just I found it in the ute from the gib. I've got two packets of this flour mix from the gib because we never managed to uh, have a camp oven with bread on the gib. I don't know why. We're just we're always too busy, I think. But anyway, Jack's going to do this. He's going to mix it all up. I'm going to have a beer and supervise, and we'll um, put it on the Weber and show you how it works out. Probably switch the water for three. Three and a half cups of beer. You're gonna put beer in there? 
Three and a half cups of beer in each bread mix. <laughs> Gonna show you what the other two are up to. Billy, this one doesn't <laughs> him too because he's a bit afraid. Billy and Charlie have made a crab hotel. Look, she's even put little like breadcrumbs in there. And I got Look beds. The hermit crabs. And I got cute. beds. He's what are guy. their names? This I one's caramel. Too many. This I can't is caramel. Oh, this one's he's so cute. Caramel. Have you named the king and the queen yet? Minty. No, not Minty. Yet. Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna there? call Where's this charcoal? Queen Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Queen of, what about and King Philip? <laughs> yes, Can't believe you King, know that. King Philip and Queen Elizabeth. What they a great idea! Shocked. As usual, the kids left me. They found some mates and they've bailed out to go and play on a tree. <laughs> anyway, that's been sitting for a while. You can see it's doubled in size. So now my other child is going to come and help me. Come and help me. Come and help make these bread rolls. Oh look. <laughs> These look unusual. All these bread mix things. <laughs> like, anyway. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there's always one. Isn't there? <laughs> Probably laugh at a fart, too, do you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, no matter how long you get, farts are always fun. <laughs> are they? Well, then, when I do it, they are. When you do it, it's disgusting. No, it's not. No. They smell like roses. bit of butter in there. See where these up to the wrap bags. Bit of sauce. How Ooh. good does that look? Oh my lord. There you go. That's a middle lagoon hot dog right there. Look at that. Oh. Who's up? Mine. There you go. Hey, I wanted that. Dig in. Oh, let us know how you go. Oh, that looks Oh, how good we're swimming today, Bill. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because Billy is like our loudest, most energetic kid, but as soon as you put a camera on him, he doesn't talk. <laughs> he just goes weird. Middle Lagoon hot dog. <laughs> We're going to show you these things. If you have not tried these, get onto it. They will change your life, honestly. They are called chicken ribs. Have a look at them. Like if you like chicken wings, but you don't like the amount of bones and skin on them, chicken ribs are, mate, your dream come true. Am I right? They're so good. Our brother-in-law got us onto them many years ago and I spotted them in Woolies the other day. Mate, they're super hard to find, but these ones, I've already yeah. thrown the packaging out, which so I can't show you, but uh, what they were like a kilo packet or something? Yeah, so, yeah, eight bucks. Anyway, in the chicken bit, in like a vacuum sealed sort of mm. plastic tub, look for chicken ribs. Uh, all you need is like a bit of garlic sauce on them mm. and just smash them. They are just the best. There's like one bone in them and you just, the whole thing comes off. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to eat them. Yeah. It's been ages since we ate them. Oh, I'll give you one more look. I'll give you a look at this. Oh, they're so good. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any in your mouth? Uh -huh. You sure? Uh -huh. It's all over your head. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Hey, we've got this projector work and come and have a look at the kids. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I actually might come and I join them, it. I think. It's pretty nice. In uh, beside our little campsite here at Middle Lagoon, there's a little shack. So we've pinned a sheet up inside and got the projector going. It's a bit cute. Yeah, it's yeah, super awesome. Yeah, much cheap. Look at this. <laughs> what do you reckon of this, kids? Okay, right or what? Yeah. <laughs> right. No answer. <laughs> Perfect, dear. I know, it's really clear. I dig, I dig a projector. Mm, I, I dig really that. Like you know it. why I dig it? We can go inside. <laughs> kids, are, kids are busy out here. <laughs> How many did you find, Alan? There's many. Have a look at this. Ah! <laughs> Don't fall out! Yeah. It's only like probably five ah, minutes. Watch out, Dad! You just put your knee on one! Oh, no. It's only like five minutes walking around the caravan at night time, and that's how many she's found. Have a look, tip them out. That's a hotel. Keep going, tip them out. Anyway. Oh, what? Have a look how many there are. Oh, no, they're all gonna crawl out there. Yeah, <laughs> look at them go. I wanna watch them. You can watch them. There you go. <laughs> 
Hours of fun for the kids, mate. You should see them. They are absolutely everywhere. Charlie, get that spiky one. This one. Yeah, with this trailer, well, I've seen a lot of people, they sink them right under. You really only have to put, like, just up to the, like, the hubs under. The tinny just slides straight off, so you don't need to fully sink your trailer and get your car wet and everything. Just push it off. Want to hold that, Jacko? Okay. Oh, okay. So, Justin's parked the car. We just had to bring it above the high tide line because I think it's <laughs> massive tides at the moment, so well, let's... it's going to come up probably another metre or something. Yeah. So, well, um, let's hope we don't get bogged here. Off. Bloody soft the sand up here, so yeah. we're just gonna wait here until the tide comes in and out anyway. Yeah. And then I'll just back, back down. down. So it'll be happy days. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. Look what happened yesterday. <laughs> I said I wanted to get a bit of colour. Um whoops. Literally, I was only like, what do you reckon? Less than an hour? I don't know. Anyway, silly, very silly. This is why I always wear a shirt. I am absolutely cooked. Look at the colour of me. <laughs> it hurts too. Go okay, jump on the front and take you out for jumping in. Take us further. Jump in there. Alright, who's jumping in first? Me, 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 me. One, go. Three, two, one, go. And go. Just showing you the current situation. Look at that. We've actually got the beach to ourselves, would you believe it? I can't. It's just absolutely incredible. We've got perfect conditions today. Justin's out fishing. The caravan is there. It's just amazing. You should see how crystal clear this water is. I'm going to show you. I think it's going to hit 37 today. So, oh, how good's this, lads? Oh. oh, it's so amazing, isn't it? Kids have spent that much time here finding hermit crabs. We've spent the day on this little beach here. It's just amazing. <laughs> Come on in, Charlie. See all the sand on the rock? That's all, that's all the sand from the sand wall. What's your favourite? About this place, Jacko? Um, this area. This area. It's pretty beautiful, eh? I reckon we're on here, eh? Big school of birds out front going hard. Troll around them. Yeah. I troll at like anywhere between 7 and 10 k's an hour. When I'm trolling for mackerel and stuff. I find that works alright. Just depends how rough it is, eh? And how fast you can go. Oh. Oh, there's like tuna and stuff busting up inside me. Here he goes. Come on, son. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, straight on. Nice fish. Oh, yep. In the net. You. <laughs> ah, oh, have a look at that, mate. Yeah. That's a nice little tuna. I'm gonna bleed him up. They go delicious on the barbecue, eh? Don't let anyone tell any different. Bleed it, olive oil, salt and pepper on the barbie. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I can feel it. It's gonna be a good day. Have a look at this. Straight up, little tuna. <laughs> Let's go trolling again, see if we can't find them birds. Birds are over here, I'm gonna do a loop. Try and drag the lure through. Oh, big fish, big, big, big fish. Oh, oh look at it singing. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, mate, what a run. Up you come. The plan worked, mate. You. Geez, you went a lot harder than the first one. Yep. Hands upside down. <laughs> oh, another tuna. See you later, pal. That's enough of that. If there's only tuna there, I don't really want another one. Oh, this is what we come for, this one here. I don't know what it is, but it's a good fish. Come on. Yeah. Nice one. Take him. Yeah. Ah, happy days. That's exactly what we're after. You. I think they call that a black snapper, right? Go. Another nice tusky for the esky. Oh Ooh, yeah! Come on. Another one. Oh, that's a better fish. Come on. Oh, it's a good fish. Come on. Get up. Oh yes. Yes, my friend. Yeah, that's what we want, mate. Husky, eh? Hey? Look at that. What a nice fish, mate. Another one about 50, that one. Happy days. So good. Well, I'm going to call it a day, but I'm also going to call it a win for the electric motor because my esky is looking pretty damn good. I tell you, for me to sit out here and battle this rough, even though it's not rough, I'm, um, I'm not real good in this stuff. I'm pretty green, but I've battled it and the esky looks all right. So here we go. A nice tuna, a couple of bluebone or tuskies, and a couple of little snapper or emperor. Mate, here we go. All sitting on this one spot, apart from the tuna, sitting on the spot that I found and then just using the anchor mode with, this, uh, with the electric. So stoked, mate, absolutely stoked. If I wasn't so green, I'd probably be a little bit more pumped, but I'm just gonna troll my way home now. Whew. I need a drink. I need a, need a cup of cold beers. To knock this seasickness out of me. Wow. Anyway, well worth it for me. Stock the freezer up again. Have a good feed tonight. Happy days. Middle Lagoon. If you can get up here, check the weather. If you can get some offshore winds, mate, this place would be so easy to fish and so good. Delivery! Wow. Uh, wow, is that old fish? How much do you love me, dear? Oh my goodness, that's hay! How much do wow. you love me? Wow. Tuna, tuna. We'll do that tonight on the barbecue. Olive oil, salt and pepper, salad, delicious. Sounds good. This one here is a bag of snapper, mm. black oh snapper God. or blue nine emperor, they call them. Yeah. Happy days. And that, my friend, is a bag of tusky. <laughs> hey? Blue bonerus monstropolis. Hey. Hey? exciting! And we get to eat it, looking over this. I know. I was just saying to Beck, I've only got a couple of beers left, but she's got a few bottles of wine. I and don't uh... like to normally share, to be honest. <laughs> but, but I reckon I might be tipping into her uh, little stash, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, since you caught some fish, I'll let you have some. I'm getting pretty stoked about it, though. Look at this white. I found this sunscreen, it's called Sunbum. It's actually really killer stuff for not getting burnt, but God, it just like makes you look like a ghost or something. <laughs> But it works. Anyway, after I got burnt the other day, I had to do something today. Now I'm at that itchy stage, like all my, my chest and guts are all itchy. Silly, silly man. All right, come in here, I'll show you this tuna. A lot of people won't eat it. They reckon it's just good for bait or whatever else, but have a look at that. I think this is what turns people off. It's really red, but actually when you cook it up, it turns into like white meat, like chicken. Flipper, mate. Oh, that looks all right. Oh, it's staying pretty firm, well done. Yeah. Wow. Here's the thongs, mate. They eat these, yeah. You just told me to get an inflicker. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Show us one right up close. Look at that. How good is it? Hmm. 
What a terrible setting. Moment of truth. See how it just breaks off in segments? Yeah. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. Good? Yeah, it actually tastes like chicken. And it has the texture of chicken too. Can you move over? Yeah. Nice. This is mine. It's good. Douse that in Keepy and Holly. <laughs> now, not gonna lie to you, it's not like Primo bluefin tuna or yellowfin. It's um it is Mac tuna. But if that's all you catch, it's still good feed, eh? Just like that. It's so good. Mm. I wanna see what Jack reckons. Have a bite. Mm, I can't taste like meat. You like it? It's yum. It is you yum. You don't have to like it. I want to know what you really think. Yeah. Can you try some? Okay. Break a bit off and eat it. And dip it, yeah. It's like mm, a big steak. Yummy. You like it? Hmm? Happy days. What about you, Bear? Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Five out of five, mate. That's all right. Mm. All right. I'm going to hook in, then we're going to go and see a sunset on the other side of the water tonight. Becky's hot tips, what have we got? All right, I'm just gonna give you one of my hot tips for when you're caravanning. Um, we've come across a product called All Smalls and it is a game changer for hanging all your smalls. I'm just gonna show you about That's a good it. good one. I like that little yeah, intro there. Little, little tagline. So here it is here. So it's just got these little holes, or what do you call those, babe? It's your hot tip, mate. Start again. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here it is. So you can strap it onto like basically anywhere. We always pop it on our awning here, but it's got 18 of these holes and you just slide them in like so. It's so easy. And it just hangs everything. It's the most handiest thing ever. Here you go, keep going. Got lots. We mostly pop all our baiters and rashes and things. And sometimes when I'm doing a heap of washing, I pop all my undies in there too. And Justin has a purpose for it as well. I'm I got a great gonna... one. Look at this. <laughs> It holds me fishing rods, fishing mate. Fishing rod. And we also have one sitting in um, the canopy of the car. We do. So when we're up the beach for the day, we just chuck them in there and head home. No, we hang our bloody beach towels on it. Yeah. We'll so show there you, you go. Yeah, let's go over and show them the canopy. Okay. All right, this one I've actually popped everything onto the metal up here and we just hang our beach towels in it when we're at the beach with the door up. We love it. And then you go home and it's done. And also, you know what else it's good for? Oh. Here's a hat. Clips hat the brim of your hat in it. It does the same for like your Akuba and stuff. So, like that. We love it. There you go. We've got three of them. Clearly, we like them. We do. Yeah, got a few. There you go. And I'll, I do actually, I use them in here. Look, <laughs> I store fishing rods across <laughs> there <laughs> when we're traveling. <laughs> so, so there's heaps of uses. All small. Yeah. <laughs> um, three days. There you go. That's what it looks like. You can use the rubber straps to pin it on, or you can use this bracket, or like the one on the van. I've actually slid this all the way out. And um, glued it on the back of it, glued it onto the caravan did. <laughs> anyway, go. you can get them from the All Smalls website, Justin will pop a link in here for you. You can get a code TAV10 and get 10% off them. They're they super are, cheap. Yeah. So I'd be I'd buying- say they're super cheap. They are, they're only like, what are they? 30 bucks for a twin yeah. pack or something? So I'd be buying a few, because you better use them everywhere. Anyway, they're a beautiful young family, so we love support, supporting small, so get on it. Driving around in a passenger van Dreaming of when I'd ever begin To start my life That's when I moved to the city To be 
on the stage but the curtain had closed You walked in the room and that's when I knew That I was home and my life will begin Look at all that blood. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, your top one's got a fall out in the face. Wiggle that top days. one. Oh goodness. Oh, dear. <laughs> tooth fairy's coming. Wait. Hey, what's the tooth fairy bringing you tonight? I don't know. How much money? I don't need enough. Take a stab. Take a guess. 50 bucks? No way. Got it. Oh! Show me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Two in one day dolls! Wow! You look so cool with no teeth. Look at it! You are going to get so much money from the Tooth Fairy tonight. Wow! Oh! Isn't losing teeth the best ever? <laughs> well, the time has come, mate, to uh, finally crack into this beer. <laughs> If you followed us on Instagram, you would have seen when I received these, but um, it's a bit of a treat, but look at the bottom of it. Pina Colada Milkshake IPA. But hang on, hang on, read the bottom. 8.5%? Lucky I'm only gonna have one beer today. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'm gonna bring you over here and show you. We just discovered this little shower setup. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful you don't show the kids in the nerdy Rudy. But look at this, there's a, a pole over here under the palm trees the sun's going down tide's coming in and i've rigged up the um the hose and the little garden sprayer on here even comes with a pre-existing duck board and some grass mat can you believe it look at the view in the shower mate palm trees shower oh <laughs> yes oh this is great mate this is so good you don't understand how happy i am right now <laughs> Hey? It's the small things, an outdoor shower. It's just the small things. Is it the small things or is it the eight and a half percent milkshake? It's probably that. It's probably that. <laughs> Mate, life is good. Check out the squeeze. Look how delicious he is. Look how good the view He's definitely is. Definitely had too many drinks. Mate, I've had, I've had <laughs> one sip of an IPA. Rui, I'm in paradise. Look at this. Got a cold tin. I'm in a camp shower under a palm tree, and look at me view. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yes, this is the track into the Bard Creek beach camping site. James Price Point, can you bloody believe it? Look. Oh, there we go, right up. We have just hit the black stuff again. Thank for that. And just like that, mate, we are set up at Pender Bay Escape. What do you got going on here, mate? We've got my espresso martini. Ooh. All right, let's go for a swim. We've just pulled up, we're gonna air up now. We've left Middle Lagoon this morning, dear. Mm. Mad spot. Oh my God, absolutely loved it. Loved it. Loved so, it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit us yeah. up with any info you want. But um, we had a bit of an issue coming out. I'll just show you this. We've grown our own little gum tree. Would you like to see where Very it is? Very nice. Boom. <laughs> we had to move over for a truck on the way out. And um, I've got this gum tree jammed up in the mudguard 
of my tinny trailer. I had to cut it off with a chainsaw to get out of there, but pretty clever, eh? Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get that out. I'm going to have to stand on the roof of the tinny and rip it out. I'll get up and have a go. Yeah, hold that. Give you a look at this Alecky motor while I'm here too. It's a Water Snake Geo Spot GPS. So uh, I really wanted the Geo Spot because that means you get that anchor mode, so you can just find your ground, stop it, and then it holds you there within a couple of meters via the GPS. I tell you, that's how I caught all my fish today, apart from the one on the trail. I was just I knew the fish were there, spot anchor mode, and then it just holds you there, and you can constantly see them on your sounder. And every drop, I was just catching fish. I threw back like 12 of those black snapper. Um, mate, works a treat. So it's first time out. Uh, I can see this thing paying for itself, especially once I stuck it into the creeks, looking for barra and stuff, trolling along. There you go, mount's up here. It's on a quick release mount. So all you have to do is pull this slide out here and the whole motor comes off. And there's just an Anderson plug that connects it. At the moment I've got, I'd pulled the battery out of my ute and put in, so it's a bit overkill. But I've got a smaller version of that one coming from Anna Drive. It'll be like a 120 amp hour jobby. And I'll just put it in a little battery box with a couple of 12 volt socket and a um, Anderson plug on it. And then I can run my sounder and um, the electric off the one little battery box and chuck it in the ute to charge it up off the charger in there. So there you go. How did I fit it? Um, I've got a bloke in Broom, Broom Alley Works, Jolly his name is. I dropped it off there and just took the motor in with it. And he made up this plate and just welded it onto the side here. Um, so it fits nice and neat and runs down the side of the boat. A couple hundred bucks. If you need any alley work done on your canopy or your, your boat or trailer or something when you're in Broom, he's a champion fella uh, and they do good work. So get in there, Broom Alley Works. He was a nice dude, man. All right, boring part now. Clean up, pack up. Righto, fishing gear chat. A lot of the blokes are like this, the missus probably won't. But... I'll put this little goey up here and show you on the back. There's the tinny. All right, now this one here, this is what I caught a big 82 centimeter barra on a couple of weeks ago. It's first fish that it caught. How good that? Um, anyway, it is a Daiwa Saltist. It's a 4,000, I've got 40 pound braid on it. And it's paired with a, well, I was just in the shop and um, I was walking through trying to find one because I wanted a rod that I could throw big metals on like this and even bigger, or use big soft plastics and jig, um, but still be a lightweight rod, but handle plenty of beef. And that, mate, when I had an 82 centimetre bar on, it was awesome. And then today, that's what I caught that tuna on. So I can handle a big fish, 40 pound braid gives you enough, and it's really light, and you can throw lures with it and plastics. It's got a good action. Anyway, that's a Shimano Revolution, this one here, and the Daiwa Saltist, it's a killer. Been chasing a really good setup like that for ages. So I finally treated myself after Arnhem Land. When I started catching so many fish, I'm like, I really need something better. Cheers to that. And um, I'll just grab this other one because it's a big trolling slash bottom bash and rig that I was catching all those fish on today. Plus, um, oh, I catch Spanish and that on the troll. Hang on a sec. Yeah. It's called the Daiwa BG 6500. They're actually really good value. And they're on special when I bought them too. Compared to a lot of other reels in this sort of class, they can get really expensive, but that's not. That's like, it was under 250 bucks when I bought it. I know that's still a lot of money, but when you start looking at quality gear, it adds up pretty quick. And then this one is a Saltist rod. Um, where is it? PE four to six, six foot Saltist. And it's matched with this one. So works a treat, good for trolling. Nice heavy action, and then I was using those big snapper leads to fish 20 meters today. Catching those blueies and sharks and everything else, that's got 50 pound braid on it as well. So there you go. That's what I've been using. 
happy days. I'm really, really happy with it, eh? It's like that next level up from what I usually have. I've still got all the, um, I use the quick fire combos for the kids, um, and they're really good. But for me, when I want to start catching better quality fish, and like, I don't know, I'm probably just talking myself into it, but I really like it. Mm -hmm.